the law of one unabridged transcription of contact between the L and L group in registered trademark and the social memory complex known as RAW. Session 38. I am RAW. I greet you in the love and in the light of the one infinite creator. We communicate now. Questioner. Will you tell us if there would be any hope or any purpose in either Jim or I taking the instrument's place at the beginning of the session and attempting to replace the instrument as instrument by attempting the trance work ourselves? I am raw. This information is on the borderline of infringement upon free will. We shall, however, assume your desire to constitute permission to speak slightly beyond limits set by Confederation guidelines. Shall we say, at this space-time nexus neither the one known as Don nor the one known as Jim is available for this working. The one known as Don, by, shall we say, practicing the mechanics of contact and service to others by means of the channeling, as you call it, would in a certain length of your time become able to do this working. The one known as Jim would find it difficult to become a channel of this type without more practice also over a longer period of time. Then we should have to experiment with the harmonics developed by this practice. This is true in both cases. Questioner, thank you. Backtracking just a little bit today I would like to know if the reason the nuclear energy was brought into this density 40 or so years ago had anything to do with giving the entities that were here who had caused the destruction of Moldek another chance to use nuclear energy peacefully rather than destructively? Is this correct? I am raw. This is incorrect in that it places cart before horse. As your people say, the desire for this type of information attracted this data to your people. It was not given for a reason from outside influences. Rather it was desired by your peoples. From this point forward your reasoning is correct in that entities had desired the second chance which you mentioned. Questioner, what was the mechanism of fulfilling the desire for the information regarding nuclear energy? I am raw. As we understand your query the mechanism was what you may call inspiration. Questioner, was this inspiration or would an entity impress the person desiring the information with thoughts? Would this be the mechanism of inspiration? I am raw. The mechanism of inspiration involves an extraordinary faculty of desire or will to know or to receive in a certain area accompanied by the ability to open to and trust in what you may call intuition. Questioner, could you tell me how each of the rays, red through violet, would appear in a perfectly balanced, undistorted entity, I am raw. We cannot tell you this for each balance is perfect and each unique. We do not mean to be obscure. Let us offer an example. In a particular entity, let us use this instrument. The rays may be viewed as extremely even, red, orange, yellow. The green ray is extremely bright. This is, shall we say, balanced by a dimmer indigo. Between these two the point of balance resides the blue ray of the communicator sparkling in strength above the ordinary. In the violet ray we see this unique spectrograph, if you will, and at the same time the pure violet surrounding the whole. This in turn, surrounded by that which mixes the red and violet ray, indicating the integration of mind, body, and spirit. This surrounded in turn by the vibratory pattern of this entity's true density. This description may be seen to be both unbalanced and in perfect balance. The latter understanding is extremely helpful in dealing with other selves. The ability to feel blockages is useful only to the healer. There is not properly a tiny fraction of judgment when viewing a balance in colors. Of course when we see many of the energy plexi weakened and blocked, we may understand that an entity has not yet grasped the baton and begun the race. However, the potentials are always there. All the rays fully balanced are there in waiting to be activated. Perhaps another way to address your query is this. In the fully potentiated entity the rays mount one upon the other with equal vibratory brilliance and scintillating sheen until the surrounding color is white. This is what you may call potentiated balance and third density. Questioner, is it possible for a third density planet to form a social memory complex which operates in third density? I am raw. It is possible only in the latter or seventh portion of such a density when entities are harmoniously readying for graduation. Questioner, could you give me an example of a planet of this nature, both a third density service to others type and a third density self-service type at this level of, of attainment conditions? I am raw. As far as we are aware there are no negatively oriented third density social memory complexes. Positively oriented social memory complexes of third density are not unheard of but quite rare. However, an entity from the star Sirius planetary body has approached this planetary body twice. This entity is late third density and is part of a third density social memory complex. This has been referred to in the previous material. The social memory complex is properly a 
fourth density phenomenon. Questioner, I was wondering if the particular social memory complex from the Sirius star evolved from trees? I am raw. This approach is correctness. Those second density vegetation forms which graduated into third density upon this planet bearing the name of dog were close to the tree as you know it. Questioner, I was also wondering then if since action of a bellicose nature is impossible as far as I understand for vegetation, would not they have the advantage as they move into third density from second is to not carrying a racial memory of a bellicose nature and therefore develop a more harmonious society and accelerate their evolution in this nature? Is this true? I am raw. This is correct. However, to become balanced and begin to polarize properly it is then necessary to investigate movements of all kinds especially bellicosity. Questioner, I am assuming, then, that their investigations of bellicosity were primarily the type that they extracted from Hickson's memory rather than warfare among themselves? Is this correct? I am raw. This is correct. Entities of this heritage would find it nearly impossible to fight. Indeed, their studies of movements of all kinds is their form of meditation due to the fact that their activity is upon the level of what you would call meditation and thus must be balanced, just as your entities need constant moments of meditation to balance your activities. Questioner, I believe this is an important point for us in understanding the balancing aspect of meditation since we have here its antithesis in another type of evolution. These entities moved, we are told by Charlie Hickson, without moving their legs. They, I am assuming they use a principle that is somewhat similar to the principle of movement of your crystal bells in moving their physical vehicles. Is this correct? I am raw. This is partially incorrect. Questioner, but I am just assuming that they their method of movement is not a function of mechanical leverage such as ours, but a direct function of a mind somehow connected with the magnetic action of a planet. Is this right? I am raw. This is largely correct. It is an electromagnetic phenomenon which is controlled by thought impulses of a weak electrical nature. Questioner, was their craft visible to would it have been visible to anyone of our density on our planet who might have seen it or might have been in that area at that time? Is it a third density material the same as this chair or anything we have here? I am raw. This is correct. Please ask one more full question before we close as this instrument has low vital energy at this space-time. Questioner, all right. I'll just ask this one. I have here that could you give me some idea of what conditions are like on a fourth density negative or self-service planet? Can you do this? I am raw. The graduation into fourth density negative is achieved by those beings who have consciously contacted intelligent infinity through the use of red, orange, and yellow rays of energy. Therefore, the planetary conditions of fourth density negative include the constant alignment and realignment of entities in efforts to form the dominant patterns of combined energy. The early fourth density is one of the most intensive struggle when the order of authority has been established and all have fought until convinced that each is in the proper placement for power structure. The social memory complex begins. Always the fourth density effects of telepathy and the transparency of thought are attempted to be used for the sake of those at the apex of the power structure. This, as you may see, is often quite damaging to the further polarization of fourth density negative entities, for the further negative polarization can only come about through group effort as the fourth density entities manage to combine. They then polarize through such services to self as those offered by the Crusaders of Orion. You may ask more specific questions in the next session of working. Are there any brief queries before we leave this instrument? Questioner, I would just like to know if there is anything that we can do to make the instrument more comfortable or improve the contact. I am raw. All is well. We leave you in the love and light of the one infinite creator. Go forth rejoicing in the power and in the peace of the one creator. Adonai. And of session 38.